Okay, guys. So yesterday I assigned shapes six, eight, and nine. Now shape nine is definitely the trickiest, although shape eight has a couple of tricks in it. Shape six is pretty straightforward. But today I wanted to give you a quick video on how to do shape nine in case you're having trouble, especially since there's a new trick in there that we haven't learned yet. So I'm going to go to a new document, standard, and I'm going to look at the dimensions. Well, it looks like it's 1.5 wide. I'm going to add this later. I'm just going to look at this main body here. It's 0.75 tall, and then there's triangles that are 1.25. So I start a new sketch. I'm going to go to front because I'm clearly looking at my front. And I'm going to start with a rectangle. And I'm going to tell it to be, if I can get my mouse to stop moving, 1.5 by 0.75. And hit enter. Okay. And so what I've drawn is this rectangle base. Now I'm going to add two lines to it. So just two random lines, and I'll add the height later. Okay, and I'm going to pull up my... Well, I'm going to go ahead and add a dimension from the top to the bottom. Starter from the bottom, now we go. And I'm going to tell that to be, if you look, 1.25. If you're wondering where I'm getting this dimension, if you need to look, here's the home view. You can kind of see how I'm kind of making it match. I guess I could move this one over here so you could really see it. Move this one down here so you could really see it. But then you can kind of see my, where I'm getting my dimensions from. Then it says this center is 0.75 away. Okay, I'm from the left. So I hit dimension. I go to this corner, this edge, and that is 0.75. And you can kind of see how I'm making this kind of exact. And now it can't move. In other words, these two sides are equal. I can't add that constraint. I'd over constrain it because it's already there. They're already equal. It's completely purple. Now I'm going to be OCD about it and use my trim tool and even trim off that rectangle top. And it looks like I can't, so never mind. But I would trim it off so I only have one shape. But because it's fully constrained, it won't let me. Long story. Um, don't really have time to explain it. So I'm going to finish the sketch because it doesn't matter. I just extrude. I'm going to click on both shapes. So they both extrude out. Let me show you that again slowly. Click on both shapes, one, two, and they both extrude out. And it looks like it extrudes two inches. Okay, that's pretty easy. Cool, I'm halfway done. Now I need to draw this face over here. It looks like it's coming off of this. So I'm going to start a new sketch. And I'm going to draw a quick rectangle. I could line it up or I could line it up after. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use my collinear constraint because I like reminding you all of your constraints. And it looks like it's 0.5 from the left. Boom, 0.5. And it doesn't say how far it is from the back, but I can assume it's 0.5 because this is 1 and because math. But we don't know how high the top goes. Well, it looks like this rectangle is 0.75. So I dimension it to be 0.75. Or I could have made it collinear to this line because, you know, again, math. But it doesn't matter. Okay, so from there, I'm going to add again my line tool. And I'm just going to draw some random two lines to make a triangle. It doesn't matter because I'm going to add it later. And it looks like that this is 1.1. Look very closely, 1.125 from the top. Started from the bottom. Now we are 1.125. Okay. I'm going to hit the home button so you can see what I'm doing. You can kind of see I'm getting my dimensions, where they're at. And the last one is, of course, this two here is 0.5, which gets it perfectly centered. And from here, I'm going to finish my sketch and extrude. I'm going to extrude both of these shapes out. Well, they extrude out 0.5. And I'm not done, because if you notice, here it goes into the shape. Let me show you shaded with the edges so you can really see it. You see how mine kind of doesn't go into the shape? There's a big missing hole. There's a way to fix that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the extrusion. We're going to learn a new feature. Edit the feature. And instead of going to join one way, I'm going to join it the other way, which gets it into the wall. Okay, well, that'd be really good. Are you saying I got to get it into the wall and then resketch it and then extrude that one out? Well, you could. Or I'm going to go to Control Z and I'm going to edit this feature again. What's really cool is these options to go both ways. So this one will go both ways in equal direction, which would suck because if I go uh, 0.5 in each direction, which would be 0.5 times 2 or 1. It still doesn't quite go into my shape if you look at it. Okay? So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to edit my feature. And I'm going to go a little bit one way and a little bit the other way. So, one direction I'm going to go 0.5. And the other direction I'm going to go until it's into the shape. 
So not one way, not the other, not both ways symmetrically, but both ways asymmetrically. And that gets it perfect.